Westwood to Paoli, Indiana. We are getting reports all over Kentuckyana. They're here. Why are the cicadas so fascinating? It's because we don't see them often. And now this group is coming back after being 17 years underground. For many youngsters around us, this is the first time they've ever seen one. What a lesson in nature. Dennis Ting is joining us live right now. He's been checking out different ways people are now learning about cicadas. Some creative ways you found, Dennis. Well, that's right, Doug. Now, they don't sting and they don't bite, and they come once every 17 years. There's still a lot we don't know about these cicadas, but some are getting a bit of a head start. The students at Swallowtail Forest School of, at Louisville Nature Center are getting a hands-on lesson about cicadas, which are starting to pop up around their outdoor classroom. They've started finding the cicadas here earlier this week, and they've been spending time learning about these red-eyed bugs. The mission of the Swallowtail Forest School is to have children interact with nature and to develop their sense of exploration which is why school leaders say this is a very unique opportunity for them to learn about something that these children have never seen before. Yeah, to inspire the future environmental stewards, we, we really it's need, especially our kids, to, to build those connections early. So they wanted to make the students even made a welcome sign for the cicadas using the exoskeletons left behind. But it's not just all fun and games. Many researchers are seizing this once every 17 year opportunity to learn more about these bugs. And they say history has shown the cicadas may be showing up in fewer places over the years. Now, Doug, I've been hearing a lot of people say that you've been wanting someone to eat a cicada. Well, I'll tell you, when I was in fifth grade, the last time the cicadas came out, someone dared me to do it at recess. And of course, I did it because someone dared me. But Doug, you and I are both adults now. I'm not just going to go pick a cicada off a tree and eat it. So I actually uh, oven roasted them instead. And Doug, I made these just for you. It's a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, garlic powder, red chili, pe uh, chili pepper. And I will be dropping this off to you at the station a little bit later today. So Doug, I hope you enjoy these. I know you've been wanting someone to eat a cicada for so long. Why not have it be you. And uh, after you try it, I hope you give the compliments to the chef. They'll go perfect Doug, on the on, they'll go perfect on the salad. But Dennis, do you remember what it tasted like when you were that young? I think I held my breath. And uh, so no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm impressed you went to that trouble. And you went to all that trouble. You ought to go ahead and sample one right now. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. I, I care about you, Doug. I'm not eating your food. <laughs>